And and if it wasn't for me having good people around me, I'd be where Elvis is, John Bellucci is. The Red Table Talk, mm -hmm. you are you got to also um, be like transparent about mm -hmm. substance abuse. Mm -hmm. You spoke on that. And I feel like I've heard it without mm -hmm. respect. I would never like. Mm -hmm. No, it's all right. It's all right. I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. I felt like that was the time you were able to. Mm -hmm. People were able to hear that out. Mm -hmm. The first time I heard about it, there was an article that I stumbled across in 1993. Mm -hmm. It was uh, Entertainment Weekly. It was talking mm -hmm. about Keenan leaving in living color. Uh -huh. Then it had a little asterisk. Mm -hmm. Respect. Mm -hmm. It said. Uh, oh, don't worry about it. Tommy Davidson uh, reportedly mm -hmm. left for rehab. Mm -hmm. Well, at least they said reportedly. You know, I could, I could, I could, I could deny it off of that. You know? Right. That was just a report, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, did, was that true? Did you at one point step away to kind mm -hmm. of like your own mm -hmm. personal? Like, yeah, yeah. It was just, you know, you know, I don't make no excuses for nothing. It was just, it was just, I had a problem, man, and it took it, it took me out. And and if it wasn't for me having good people around me, I'd be where Elvis is, John Bellucci is. Um, what's um his name? Um, that was in Tommy Boy. Chris Farley. Farley. I'm grateful. I'm so I I don't even trip. Uh, yeah, I don't even. Trip. It got to that point where I had to do something, you know. And you know, life circumstances will come along. This is what I've learned. I'm telling you, this is retro. I ain't noticed now, and I wouldn't went through it. You know, life circumstances will come along. And, you know, you'll throw caution to the wind to warnings. You know, I've seen the warnings all, all around my neighborhood. I've seen addicts all my life. I've seen, you know, people who have alcohol problems all my life. All my life. And people would sit me down and say, hey, don't you do that, don't you do that, don't you do that. And it wasn't a conscious decision. It was just one of them things where there was a lot of opportunities available to me. And I was in an emotional space where I was dependent on those things to help me deal with the present reality. If that doesn't sound too, that sounds too, too, too. In, in short, it was the perfect storm. Shit I didn't understand, fears that I had, all of them linked up to reaching for something else other than what I now know is my real strength. And so I had, yeah. Did it get to a point where like Keenan was, had to pull you to the side or was this like in your own? You know, mind? everybody put me to the side. That was the good thing. Everybody put me to the side and said, hey man, you better watch out. You better be careful. You better be careful, you know? And I'm grateful for it, you know? And I, it wasn't until, it wasn't until, it wasn't until after that interview that I had where I started talking about it that I realized, even realized that was 19 years ago. It was 19 years ago. So now, yeah, and, and all of a sudden it hit me, wow, I didn't even realize that. I didn't even realize that it's been that long. And what that made me realize was, I'm right on time where I'm supposed to be in my life. I wouldn't be the person that I am right now and be able to talk to you or anybody from the base of truth that I have if it wasn't for that experience, you know? It's, it's like a forging. Yeah. It's like a forging process. And I only left for one season. Okay. And then I came back. Okay. So that very next season, they were gone. Experiencing yeah. that, mm -hmm. you left, you come mm -hmm. back, and then the home team is gone. Mm -hmm. What's your immediate reaction in your mind at that time? Um, there's a little more freedom for me to do what I wanted to do. <laughs> you know, um, but also there was there was a lack of quality to the show, you know, and those friendships I missed, too, you know, but like I said, this is a job, you know, it ain't, it ain't like my family, you know, it ain't like, you know, you know, my dedication to my people, you know, this, this is one of those things that. You know, it's one of those things in life that cycles in and cycles out. I missed them and the show missed them too because of that quality that was gone, you know?